Hey friends, so I'll share with you a method that was one of my favorites at the time of realizing this and first starting to teach about this beyondness or beyond experiencing. And that is uh, a method that was very effective to make this more pronounced, to make this more accessible to my quote unquote transparent awareness. And it goes as follows. It's titled The Perpetual Beyondness Loop. That sounds a little funny, but I'll explain it. So a loop is something that loops back onto itself. Once the loop is established, it becomes continuous. It is continuous. So this practice needs to be practiced for a little while, a little dura duration um, in one sitting. So you could do this as a meditation, for example, let's say for an hour straight, but you'll, you'll get results. It depends on the person, but you'll get results fairly soon into this process. So you just can take it as far as you want to take it until it becomes pretty much automatic, until it has formed a loop, until the circle that you are drawing by practicing this consistently for a set period of time, until you feel like it forms a loop that now has taken over itself and that instinctual realization that you activate over and over and over again becomes a perpetual beyondness loop that now is naturally occurring for you. You are now naturally aware and transparent to the one, even when you're no longer trying to practice. So activate the perpetual beyondness loop as follows. Whenever something arises, and this is in some ways very similar to the previous exercise of ignore everything, but now you're going to use the angle of going beyond or recognizing that what is true is beyond what you're perceiving. Again, also very similar to the neti neti in its attitude of negation, not overall negation of the purpose of all that there is, because again, a balanced realized being does not dismiss anything as not being the one. Ultimately, you realize it's all the one, including appearances, including drama, thoughts and emotions. Not to get stuck in these things, but to appreciate and value them for the purpose that they have is very crucial at some point. But also intermediary stages require that it's certain things are dismissed for the sake of realizing other angles and more expanded realizations. Hence, as follows, when something arises for you in this meditation, when your consciousness notices an experience, you state to yourself, whether verbally or mentally or just attitude-wise, energetically, it is, it is, it, the one, that which I'm realizing, the only truth, the infinite truth, the infinite one, is beyond this. And then the next experience arises. And you also snap out of that, and it's beyond that as well. The next experience arises, the next feeling or thought or object enters your consciousness and gets registered as an experience. You snap out of that one. <clears throat> so an experience arises and you snap out of it by saying, I am or it is whatever I'm looking for. It is beyond this. It is beyond this too and beyond this and beyond this. So you, again, you become very slippery, very ninja, like very deflective, very slippery to experiences. They just slide off of you. Nothing lasts, nothing endures, you, nothing sticks to you. Even if it's a sticky, emotional, traumatic thing that's very active for you in your life at this moment, maybe your partner left you or something like tragic like that. Even if there is an emotional charge behind it, step completely beyond it, say, no, I am convinced, I am committed, I'm looking for something beyond this experience. And then the thought might arise, oh, this is such a intense practice, I'm not getting anywhere. It's beyond that too. Oh yeah, but I feel this way, it's beyond that too. Oh yeah, but I feel that way, it's beyond that too. Oh, I'm thinking this, oh, it's beyond that too. I don't think I can do this beyond that too. So you constantly snap out of every limiting statement, definition, thought, experience that you are used to normally latching onto. Now this is very powerful. You become completely slippery. You slip through the crack and the cracks of consciousness even into an infinite abyss of infinite peace and realization of the one. 
thing that makes this practice uh, unique or special or so effective is that you do it over and 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 over again. And you don't make any concessions on anything that arises, no matter what your thoughts suggest, no matter how you feel about it, no matter what you observe. If there's an explosion outside your room, you go beyond that too. It's not that either. It's not that either. If you hear that a meteorite is about to hit planet Earth and everyone you love will die, it's beyond that as well. Beyond this, beyond this, beyond this. And if you do this fast in succession, beyond this, beyond this, you will get those gaps of peas. And then you can even say beyond that too. Like you constantly snap out of whatever mode your awareness is going to lock onto. And when you do this for say an hour, half an hour, two hours, 10 minutes, doesn't really matter. It depends on how transparent this already is for you in a way. But if you do this consecutively, persistently, and pre you have to practice this, just do it. Set some time apart and do it. Do it. You will thank yourself for this for the rest of your life. It's worth it. Fucking do it for an hour. So you do this, you sit down, you go beyond this and beyond that and beyond this and beyond that and beyond this, beyond that, beyond that. And what happens is that it starts to loop onto itself and it becomes perpetually obvious to you and simultaneous to whatever is going on with and inside of your awareness. Now this is where you're going to be experiencing the first glimpses of true simultaneity. You're going to have an awareness of the things that occur. You're going to be able to respond to the explosion outside your window. You're going to be able to have an in-depth dialogue with your partner while simultaneously being transparent to the infinite abyss, the infinite space, the infinite void of the infinite indescribable where nothing ever happened and there's no identity of any kind but infinite peace. Enjoy.